Not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the Hidden Path. And find the Anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. Good job. Sing with me. Show me your light. I've waited all night. I'm tired. Of it. Won't you sing with me? Time to see if that compass is still working. Why wouldn't it be? With my luck. It is a mechanical object. You have no control over it. Fair enough. Where should we take her first? Ready when you are. I just hope that compass still works. Let's pick our destination. been meaning to check up on Monk. God, you're gonna love Kobo. What's it like? Oh, lots of waterfalls. <laughs> Everything grows there. It's great. Don't forget Pailoon Saloon. Grease is the owner. Is there music? Yes. And they love to take requests. Okay. I hope they have Trandoshan Funk. 
that's my favorite. All right, make like a rock and quit moving around my cabin. About us, Marin. What about us, Cal? I can't go back to the way things were with us. Nor can I. But things are not so simple now, are they? Were they ever simple? Perhaps not. But we will figure it out. Together. We'll speak later. Don't you got stuff to do? the Empire all along, Moran. I assume you're referring to the Star Destroyer blotting our sky. Yeah. You leaving Kobo? Oh, I don't know. I think I'll slum it here a while longer. Why? I mentioned Dreo, my old partner. I never told him I fled here. Poor fool probably doesn't know I'm alive. Have you tried to contact him? Can't bring myself to. Shame to go around. Don't wait. Or you might miss your chance. Perhaps. Or perhaps I'll drown my sorrows a little while longer. Another time. Cal, I've been meaning to ask. With the Empire everywhere, do you think Rambler's Reach has a chance? Reminds me of something a friend of mine once said. One of the wisest men I've known. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. I believe that to be true. But things are probably going to get worse before we can make them better. Yeah. But that does not mean I'm going to let the Empire destroy Kobo's history. And I guess there's still hope, isn't there? Some other time, okay? You know, I came here for a change of pace. Now we got a Star Destroyer lurking overhead. I should just sample it for my new album. Turn all that aggression into something creative. Are you sticking around Kobo with everything going on? Oh, sure. Sounds like a few people might bow out, and I can't blame them. But I've got art to make. There's something special about Kobo. A heartbeat. It's faint, but there if you listen. That's what I'm after. DD, throw me that sample again. Bartender's job is never done. Hey, how come he never charged me for our chats? You make everyone else pay for your wisdom. Ha! If wisdom could be obtained with credits, all would possess it. Every fortune has a price. But a conversation between friends is priceless. That is why I do not charge you, Sojourner. Thanks, Tulok. Sojourner? Another customer for you, pretty boy. What you got, Cage? What it is, you've got a secret admirer on Jedi. Big droid called yu Hong. Looking to replace the little guy? Not a chance. I figured. Anyway, yu Hong's not a touchy-feely type. More of a touchy-murdery type. I've seen a lot of hunters in my day. And I gotta say, you're showing promise, Cal. How many bounties until I get a hat like yours? Not a chance. I took this off my first target. It has sentimental value. How long you been a bounty hunter? Long enough. And I know the killer in the making when I see one. Hey, Monk. Good to see you, Cal. The weather report is cloudy with a 100% chance of Star Destroyer. Can't believe the Empire sent one all the way out here. 
Indeed. Pretty soon you'll be able to count Empire-free planets on one hand. Hang in there, Monk. Grease and I are working on something you might be interested in. He did mention something about a franchise opportunity. That Star Destroyer is not going anywhere. Maybe I should strike up a new beverage to mark the occasion. See you later, Monk. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. You? Guess I'm fine, too. It's all right if you're not. Hey, hey, don't get mushy on me. Do I miss Grok? Sure I do. I mean... You know what hurts the worst? The old man was strong, sharp, grumpy enough to curdle clear water, too. But beneath all of that, he actually believed that a couple of nobodies like us could strike it rich. Too many skeptics and cynics out there, Cal. You find a believer, you hold on tight. I hear you. Talk later, buddy. Gotta be another way. Always an angle. Always. Most a family looking for a new one. Um, I can relate, Cal. But you gotta make a choice. The future or the past. Can't have it all. <laughs> Not in this galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. So you said you came here after a heist, huh? That's right. I was once the most infamous outlaw in the Outer Rim. Really? Oh, yeah. They called me the Prince of Pilfering, the Mayor of Misdemeanors, the Sultan of Stealth. If you're so notorious, how'd you get here undetected? I snuck into a shipping crate and lived in a aforementioned crate for a long time. A very long time. When Doma unpacked me, she thought I was trash. Good thing she didn't throw you out. Oh, but she did. We still laugh about it. I was hoping to run into you. What did I do this time? Just want to say goodbye, that's all. Where are you headed? I'm not sure exactly. Just feeling restless. Time to move on. Take care, Mosey. You're a hell of a hunter, Cal. Hope to see you again. Hi, Cal. Later, BD. Hey, Grease. Know where Kata is? Upstairs, I think. <laughs> I'm just glad she didn't find the kitchen. That kid eats like a starving rancor. I gotta pick up some more scas steaks before we head out. No one makes them like you, Grease. And don't you forget it. Scas steaks, synth milk. Oh, I, I, I gotta make a list. Believe these Imperials strutting around like they own the bloody place. That's what they do best. And you know who to blame, don't you? <laughs> who? That blabbermouth, Tall, who first let it slip that this here rock is brimming with river clear priorite. Put a target on our backs, it did. I bet those Imperials are using the priorite to construct some secret weapon. Or or a, a palace. <laughs> Be nice, BD. All right, laugh it up. We'll see who's right. Loom. But I'm starting to think Turgle might have a hand in all this. That's ridiculous. Fine, fine. Just a theory. Come back! When your race failed, I feared the worst. We made it. And I've got the compass. Well done. Then it's all over, is it? Or just the beginning. It's gonna take a lot to get Tantalor ready for the others. Come with us. I appreciate the offer, but this cantina really has become a home. Glad to hear it, Z. Think about it. You are seeing Master Kree's dream through. Now don't put it up. You think Kato will be all right? I do not know. But you and I both grew up without parents. How are we? So far, so good, right? Just so. We must remain watchful, yet give her space. In the end, she will determine who she becomes, not us. I am staying here for now. Hey, Cal, you got a sec? Great to see you. 
What's going on? See, we love Kobo and all, but uh, it was never much good at goodbyes. I'm afraid we must say our final farewells, Gal. We have a bright hopes for our future. But those can't happen on Kobo. Not anymore. Where are you going? I haven't decided yet. Figured it doesn't matter, as long as we're together. Well said, Z. I understand. You need to choose what's best for you. Good luck. And to you as well, Gal. Take care, BD. Let's talk later. Oh, star, wonder where you are. Go, star. How's Kata doing? To be honest, I'm not sure the kid's been around plants, but she does like to prune leaves. And there are always leaves to prune. Grace thought she might like it here. Nice to get some fresh air. Let me know if she needs anything. Of course, Cal. If you feel like doing some weeding, we could use that too. Maybe BD's up for it? That damn Imperial ship! Sometimes I think I should have remained on Jeddah. The Empire's there too. It's the shade, Cal. Of course, Flora can grow in shade. Yet to grow tall requires a constant light source. Any amateur horticulturalist knows that. How'd you get interested in plants anyway? Oh, it's quite simple. I wanted children, but the galaxy had other plans. And I like to watch things grow. There you are. What are you doing? Peely is teaching me about her garden. She's got a green thumb. No, she doesn't. It means she's good with plants. Oh, okay. I like pruning best. Plants can't grow unless you prune a few leaves here and there. So she taught you too? How did you and Marin meet? I visited her home planet when I was looking for something. She likes you. She didn't at first. I think people are scared of her. Are you? No. I like her. Grace is going to teach me how to cook. I hope you're a better chef than I am. Why? Aren't you good? I never put the time into it. Your parents didn't teach you? I didn't know them very well. Oh. I think I understand. We can talk later. Uh, this whole Empire occupation is really getting my mucus in a knot. Uh, I thought everything got your mucus in a knot. This is no time for jokes, Cal. Uh, somebody should, I don't know, start a town collective. Mass mobilization, but underground so the Empire never notices. We could disrupt communication, sabotage their supply lines. Be a shining symbol of defiance for the rest of the galaxy. That sounds incredible. You bet it is. All we need is a name. The Good Guys Gang. Not inspiring. The Empire Stoppers. Too on the nose. Uh, we'll never think of a name. Shut it down. So long. Fine piece of gear. Zig could knock this dent out if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. Helps me remember how I got it. And how's that? Bounty hunter. Made the mistake of pulling a blaster on my little girl. Oh, I can't believe Grok's gone. Did you know him, Cal? Not very well. Did you? Ah, I did. Our relationship was a fair bit contentious. Fool was always trying to sweet talk me. He was incorrigible. But, well, now that he's gone, I guess I miss him coming in. And I never told him. I know the feeling. Is that right? Yeah. Ah, what a galaxy.
Another shard. It's judging me. Puck. Let's get this to Cage. Good balance for such an old saber. Like I never stopped training. Think I'll take it with me. Who knows what'll happen on Jeddah. He deserves one more chance. Another holopuck. Hey, Cap. Good 
to see you. Hey, Cal. How's it going? I was just looking through the Academy's recent records. In the last few months, the Headmasters have dismissed a dozen more of my colleagues. My friends. Yes, the Empire got rid of them too. How can this keep happening? In Coruscant, I found Imperial intel. Years of fighting. The Empire's just crushing more worlds. You don't hear about that. Information is their weapon. You know what? I'm going to try and get in touch with the others who were expelled. Maybe there's, I don't know, something we can do. It's a good idea. You're probably not as alone as you think. Hey, Cal? Yeah? You are not as alone as you think, either. Small crowd today. I don't think they're coming back. If the sound's alive, they'll come. They always do. Just takes them a little while to find their way. That's all. The cantina's got some great tunes, but could always be more. See you around, Cal. Cal. Sojourner. The laughter is light. Oh, but my time on Kobo grows short. Any last words of wisdom? The wind whispers paths of sand. A blotted sun. A shadowed hand. Not even gonna try to guess what that means. So you have learned. It usually takes a while. As it should. Farewell, Jedi. Safe travels, too lot. You will find your path, Sojourner. your bounty and one of the brute's top killers has come to collect. The name's Kilioso, but the guild knows him as The Closer. He's brought a small army to Jeddah looking for you. Small army, huh? We're ready. That's what I like to hear. Take down a heavy hitter like Kilioso and you'll be making a statement. Now that you've proven yourself a proper hunter, you might as well play the part. Like I said, I'm not looking to start a career in bounty hunting. Uh-huh. Never heard that one before. First tip, expand your arsenal. Modded my blasters myself to boost my close game. Second tip, always arrive equipped in style. Makes people talk. You'll get more jobs that way. I was practically an amateur before I scored my jet boots. Then the jobs came pouring in. Thanks, but I'm good. Yep. See yourself. But don't be crying at me when you find yourself outplayed. Got a second, Monk? How's everyone holding up? Not too good with the Empire all over, but what's the sense in getting worked up over something you can't control? My master always said, the foolish one lies awake worrying about what he cannot change. The wise one sleeps. Sage advice. I've always had trouble sleeping. Well, don't lose any sleep over us. We can manage on our own. After all, this isn't the first time Kobo's faced a disaster, and probably not the last. See you later, Monk. Cal, you've been holding out on me. It depends. What are we talking about? I heard there's a whole shipload of High Republic knickknacks just sitting around in those spires. You wouldn't believe the kind of credit some of these elite types will pay for that crap. Terrain's pretty rough. Not ideal looting conditions. Yeah, Toa was telling me all about it. Of course, she wanted to put him behind glass. You don't trust her with them? Don't be naive, buddy. It ain't doing anybody any good in the hands of some historian. Follow the credits. That's what I do. How you doing? Ah, oh, that she is one cute kid. Yeah. You ever thought about having kids? Me? Uh, with kids? No. <laughs> no, I mean... Well, yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, wait, what was the question? I didn't think it was possible, but you're actually blushing. Oh, no, I'm not. This is an normal color of my face. A very normal, typical color. I think the whole kid question is like gambling. If you're gonna bet, bet big. But if you're not feeling it, 
there's no shame in walking away from the table. That's actually good fatherly advice. You think so? <laughs> hey, go do what you gotta do. Ciao, buddy. You ain't been here long, have you? No, not long. Oh, me? I've been on Kobo for most of my life. Came all alone when I was a little sprout. Age of 12, if you can believe it. Really? All by yourself? That's right. Heard there was fortune to be had, as long as you ain't a lazy bones. And I jolly well ain't. Talk later? Got a lot on my mind. I hear you succeeded in your quest. Yeah. Lost a lot along the way. In my day, the Jedi would say that the Force is a river, and every life a tributary that returns to the greater whole. I think Seer said something like that. To live is to lose. Nothing is ever truly lost. I think I'll hang on to that one, if you don't mind. Not now, Cal. Sierra and Cordova are gone. Still can't believe it. Neither can I. We will honor them by helping the path, Cal. Be careful. How old are you? Why do you ask? Because you know a lot of stuff. And I don't. You will learn. Do you know how trees grow? How? One ring at a time, Kata. One ring at a time. Oh, hello. survived the purge if I couldn't become someone else. The rest of the crew is gone. I know the kind of friend he needs right now. You always excelled at the art of disguise. Sense of foul presence. No. It couldn't be.
That did the trick. More like go home, huh? Really, Guido? All right, that one's a loser. Yeah, but so is Doma. <laughs> How do you feel about the changes around here? Same with all the other changes. Resigned annoyance. We've seen a lot happen here. The first prospectors... Oh, remember that massive heat wave? How could I not? Practically melted my membrane off. And the Afrin swarm that ate the town's food supply. No one knew what to do. I still think we should have eaten each other. We both might hate change, but we've seen enough to know it's just the natural flow of life. Wow, that's pretty profound. Thank you, Cal. Say, could you do us one favor? What's that? Could you go away? <laughs> <laughs> Something you need? Be careful. Let's pick our next destination. What'll happen to the path now? It will continue. We gotta help them. For Seer. I know. I miss her. Seer sure could bring out the best of people. She taught me so much. Kid, we're about to land. I don't want to be here. I don't blame you. We'll go soon, okay? Okay. Be careful. You know, Cal, just when I thought you couldn't find a worse place for us to go, an ISB base, really? Trust me, Grace, I'm not exactly thrilled to be here either. I know, I know, I'm just being a little tetchy. Besides, you didn't even see Fortress Inquisitorius. Now that's an Imperial base. Yeah, no thanks. Later, Cal. I'm thinking of what to cook up for dinner. PD, are you doing okay? I am sorry for your loss. Master Cordova was a good man. The Mantis is safe with me. I promise. Deals change. Besides, I don't want you distracted. Call it a contingency plan. I'm sure you understand. You bastard. 
Temper, temper. When you deliver Seer Junda to me, I will tell you which Inquisitor killed your wife. If you don't, I'll kill you myself. Kill me? Why not? You failed. Load set up the ISB. been a long time since our days serving the Republic. I thought you were dead. What can I say? You taught me well. Maybe too well. What can I do for you before I call the guards? Uh, nothing for me. But I've got a daughter now. And if you can keep her safe, the question is, what can I do for you? you. Like this. 
quick. Don't you run. I'm taking you down. When you confronted Bode, what did he say? That we gave him no choice. That he'd do anything to keep Kata safe. He said it was something only a parent would understand. That is a poor excuse. I have seen creatures fight to the death to save their young. But we are not beasts. I will keep guard, Cal. Do not worry. You know, I don't think you did all that bad a job looking after the manis. You mean that? Apart from flying her into a Coruscant dogfight and past half the Imperial fleet. Oh, and then crashing her into an Outer Rim rock. You did okay. You're never gonna let me forget that, are you? Not in a thousand Latero sunsets. No, not in two thousand. Hurry up, would you, Cal? Sitting under Imperial noses like this makes me nervous. So... you're really one of them? A Jedi? Yeah, that's right. And my papa? He was a Jedi too. But I think he was most proud of being your father. I'm just going to wait until we're ready to go. Hey, remember that time Seer tried to make that Teveronian dish? You mean that time she almost burnt the ship down? She may be gone, Grease. I'll never forget that. Arriving at our destination. I set up my cantina here, then I'd really be making some credits. And do you think the Bedlam Raiders are bad? Here you'd have to pay protection to crime lords, bribe CSF officers, you name it. But I'd have a neon sign with my name on it. And that would make Great Grandma Pyloon mighty proud. I'm sure she'd already be very proud of you, Grease. Well, you think? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, get out of here and do what you gotta do before the Inquisitorius find us again. You eating okay, keeping up your strength? Do I look like I'm wasting away? Well, no, I mean, you look fine. Listen, just let me fuss, would you? I appreciate you, Grease, but I'm fine. Might not be able to cook like you, but we were able to find food. Yeah, yeah, I saw what Seer ate. I don't trust a Jedi's definition of food. I gotta say, Cal, I don't feel good about docking the manis here. I understand. But you've got Marin to protect you. Oh, that's comforting. If any patrols come, take off. What, and leave you here? I can handle myself. We got someone else to protect now. Pylons and all neon. Oh, I can almost see it. I've never seen a city this big. A lot of people live here, but it's dangerous. They're hunting you, aren't they? That's right. You'll be okay. So will you. Can we talk later, Cal? I want to listen to the city sounds. We can trade this at Doma's shop. Remember your training. Which training? This crew is led by a Jedi. You must be in top form. 
This isn't the first time the ISB has tried to infiltrate Saw Gerrera's organization. I was always your best asset during the Clone Wars, and you know it.
My magic has kept us safe for now. They will not detect us here. Hey, bring me back your turbo dog if you get a chance. Only decent thing on this shiny rock. So many lights. All these people, oblivious to the war we're fighting. Maybe that's a good thing. For now, perhaps. But what this galaxy needs is a true revolution. You gonna lead it? Wouldn't you like that? Do the city lights dazzle you, Cal Kestis? Full speed to Jenna. Marin? Yes. Do you like to dance? When I was your age, I would dance with my sisters. Long into the night. Will you teach me? Of course, Kata. Front cow, we're coming in. How many of those anchorites survived? Seer trained them, so they gotta be tough. I'm sure some of them made it out. I hope you're right. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but it'd be nice to see one of them right about now. I hope they're all right. We must find the remaining anchorites. We will need them to make Tanelar our own. I'll take a look. When should we contact the path? Once Tanelar is secure. And we will need more compasses. Without Cordova, that'll take some time. Then you'd better get started. It is cold out there. It is always cold out there. Man, it got colder somehow. It feels the same to me. Oh, definitely colder. But this time, it's, it's, it's deeper, like... Ah, it's like in my bones. That is sadness. Oh, you think? Yes. I feel it too. It will pass with time. I can't believe how blind I've been. I know how to turn him, it's so obvious. Poor bastard's in love. agent who has located a terrorist cell on Jeddah. Don't trust your scanners. Just follow this locator beacon's coordinates. There are multiple Jedi at this location. Inform the Inquisitorius at once. If Lord Vader wants Seer Junda, he better hurry. You're still here? Yes. To say. I don't either. Will you leave? No. I will protect what remains. I'm so sorry. Ever it passes, Cal. Ever it passes. Noble Sage, I understand you have explored desert rumors at Master Cordova's request. I have now another for you to seek out. Where is it? This ancient place lies to the far west of the desert. Did Master Cordova visit there, too? I believe he did. Yes. You got it! You do not 
not be long on Jeddah. It's the ghost! Run for your lives! <laughs> Watch your step, what? Have we walked in on another dangerous expedition? Well, the feral sneakfish prefers the taste of crab, but would happily settle for your two. Are you sure all this is worth the risk? There's great beauty in peril, lad. And these noble beasts demand respect, you know, as you'll see. The Empire seems to be tightening its grip. On Kobo, too. They're everywhere. Chopped and blasted the blasted fishwife! Nearly bit off my damn flipper! The cursed scalemonger! I'll have it for chum! I'll cut it with a rusted runner! So much for a noble beast demanding great respect. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right, you're right. I'll deal with you later. Shall we continue me, uh, sordid tale? When I awoke from my last duel with Wanyak, it was on the deck of a fishing schooner. It seemed my speared carcass had bogged to the surface and been caught by a local fisher. What about Captain Wet? Did he survive? If that sack of seared slime yet plagues the galaxy, I've nay heard stem the stern of him, nor of his crew. Perhaps more importantly, the ordeal awoke me to the truth. I had no desire to spear fish nor Fisher. I had no desire to cross harpoons with dread captains, or to skewer the deadliest fish. In the hurly-burly of it all, I... Well, I lost sight of myself. The fisherwoman who caught me, she knew of a nearby world with a great multitude of fishes. Kobo. So to Kobo did I go. And since, I've realized why I like to fish. Why's that? Because I like fish, Cal. I like shiny fish, I like big fish and small fish, I like fish with eyes splayed wide and fish with eyes pointed straight. I even like fish with no eyes at all. And I like seeing the face on lovers like you when they realize just how many kinds of fish there are in this galaxy. Well, that'd be my tale, Cal. Perhaps it was no as gloomy as a kid. You went through a lot. I'm glad you're okay, Scuba. Oh, thank you, lad. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. Aye, lad. Go ahead and ponder. But don't ponder your years down the river. There's always, always another fish. Callad, I have a matter of grave importance to discuss. I fear, though on account of me helm, that you've got the impression that I depend on my suit for breathing. I hadn't given it too much thought. But I could hold my breath for ages. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. You didn't believe me. Then fine. I'll prove myself. You really don't have to. Here I go. Hold my breath in three, two, one. <gasps> oh, uh, very impressive. You don't have to do this, you know. See you around, Scuba. What do you think will happen to Seer's hideout? In time, the archive will be reclaimed by the Sands. Watch your step, Jedi. I didn't know there were any Narcus scouting this close to the Empire. There aren't. And I'm not scouting. Leave me in peace. Very well. So what are you doing out here? Waiting for a gap in the patrols. I'm taking the antiquities from this warehouse cache. Taking them back to the Archive? 
No. To the holy city. I'm going to sell them. Sell them? Did you see what happened to the Archive? There's nothing left here. These relics should be worth enough credits to buy passage off-world. Listen, if the Empire traces those relics to this region, they might suspect something. And if they do, look around. The Empire's already here. What about when they find out you're selling relics from an active Imperial search zone? At best, they'll ask questions. And they can do a lot worse. I've made up my mind, Jedi. I'm taking these relics. You will leave the relics here. I... I will leave the relics here. Worthless trinkets. You wouldn't be able to sell them. They're worthless. I wouldn't be able to sell them. I think I'd better leave it all here. Take the door codes. Do what you want with them. It doesn't matter to me. All right. I'm sorry for what happened to your people. They aren't my people anymore. Perhaps that isn't your choice. So much better. Must have been here for centuries. Charm I gave you. Uh, it saved my life a couple times. As intended. My friends, I will not live to see all the wonders of this desert, but it comforts me to know that you might continue this path in my stead. For Jedi is but a constellation in a whole galaxy of secrets.
It's over. That won't be the last of them. It would seem there is a deeper purpose to these musings after all. Perhaps these trials are intended to reveal a hidden pattern beneath the sands of this barren desert. Hang on to this. <laughs> Meddling in the affairs of other cults will bring only ruin, sister. How can we stand by while innocents suffer? I know it is difficult, but have faith. The Force will guide us to our true purpose. Time you spend meditating. Thinking to yourself. How'd she sound? Sad. It brought me back to Dathomir. When I was alone. I spent a lifetime unearthing the mysteries of the Zephyr, and now an abundance of lost knowledge awaits me. Oh, a staggering proposition. This galaxy is too vast for one mind for a single lifetime, but I find it exhilarating. What a joy to know that when my footsteps disappear into the sands, others will take my place. center.
Could use a little help, BD. Good luck. You're not coming? This you should do on your own. the golden screen the sister task was talking about. How did it go? It's done. <laughs> do your magic, BD. That's how you do it. What greater knowledge can one bestow than to help those that follow find their way? My journey is nearly at its end. When I look back, I see suffering and sadness, yes, but also joy and friendship. And so I return to my apprentice side with no regrets. Take off your suit. Oh, thinks he's clever. Well, lad, what if I wanted to go swimming? Then what would I do with no suit? You could put it back on. Ah, nobody likes a know it all, lad. Uh, laddie, uh, did you know that I be a poet of sorts? I didn't, but I have a pretty good idea what you wrote about. <laughs> Hark, I muckle love tea fish. <laughs> 
Yep. They try to catch a fish. Oh, to see through the eye of a fish. Gah, I can't recall the last line. If only I had my wish. Uh, ah, here. I do like my fish. <laughs> that was really something, Scuba. Aye, well, still a work in progress. You know, a muckle love to fish. To try to catch a fish dish? No. Flattered. Let's get back to Cage.
done. Let's get this to Cage. You have witnessed much of our desert, noble Jedi. Now, in the central desert, one more site remains. We've explored it. It was incredible. The Pilgrim Moon carries his spirit eternal on Kyber winds. May he always be with you, Cal. Keep your eyes out for the Empire. Always takes so long to get the sand out of the engines. Let's go see what we can find. We're Kobo bound! It is good that she was able to save some of it. What's that? Seer. Her work. The archive. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was always brave. <laughs> and stubborn. One heck of a lady. Time to land, get up here. Jedi and Night Sister. Together again. Watch yourself out there. Uh, I tell you, lad, that metal shark in the sky is giving me splinters from head to toe. I'm no fan of Star Destroyers either. Do they know that fishes need sunlight to grow ruddy and strong? Not sure wildlife preservation is on the Empire's list of priorities. Oh, I'll be on that list of priorities soon enough. Easy, Scuba. All right, all right. I'll let him off the hook for now. So how did the outpost get its start? Like most good things, it all started with a dream. The vision of one sharp-eyed Waluna named Doma Dendra. Not two months after she gets here, but her general store pops into being. And the rest of the outpost didn't take long to follow. Couldn't have been easy. Doma looked at the first wild old hooligans on Kobo and saw hard workers. Dreamers like her. A whole bloody community. I can see why you all stick by her. That's right. What's there but to follow someone like that, eh? Hey, mate. I still can't quite process that the Jedi are truly gone. I know, Z. It took me a long time to accept it, too. What is the galaxy to do without their guidance and leadership? It all seems so hopeless. The Jedi didn't have a monopoly on virtue. Or the Force. We can still find our way. We just need to work together. I very much hope that you're right. No time to talk. The place feels different now. Of course. But we have changed. Not the place. Well, there is a Star Destroyer in the sky. Kobo was in the Empire's shadow long before that ship arrived. We will have to face them someday. I know. I would really like to take out a Star Destroyer one day. Will you join me? It's a date. I heard back from some of my friends who were dismissed from the Academy. They didn't take kindly to being silenced by the Empire. And they're planning to do something about it. Oh yeah? We are arranging a meeting. Turns out there are more people ready to take action than we thought. I don't suppose you'd be interested in coming along? Maybe another time. I've got some things I need to take care of. I figured. Hey, you know what they say, though. I have a feeling I don't. Sooner or later, a charged hydron emulsion solution will find its way back to equilibrium. Yeah, that sounds about right. 
Talk to you soon. I need to gather my things. See you around, Cal. Enjoy the tunes. We foresaw Tomo and the Hexian Brew to their final plank. Good. It's time to finish this. Sork sent his very own arena champion, Joe the Cannibal, to the Lucre Hulk with a gang of nasties as backup. The Lucre Hulk? Had the Bedlam Raiders been cleared out? Actually, this is the fun part. Sork's champion has cut a deal with what's left of the Raiders. They're working together? Uh, that's not good. All to bag you. Let's see what you're really made of, eh? Tolmo's never doubled a bounty before. You've got him twisted right up! He did that to himself. You mentioned before that you used to work with Sork. Yeah, it was a wild time. We made a lot of credits together and even more enemies. Doesn't sound like the kind of relationship that lasts. Things were good until they weren't. That's how it is with Sork. He'll sell you out for a stale turbo dog. Only a matter of time before he made his move. But I'm not an easy mark, Cal. You should know that by now. Come on in. Grab a spot at the bar. I'm getting pretty fed up. Folks treat me like a wounded bogling. Doesn't help, does it? Not a scrap. It's not like I've never been alone, either. I practically raised myself on an orbital mining station. What was that like? I saw a lot. My heroes were the spacers who ran supply contracts. They'd drop by for a few days, cash in, usually gamble most of it away in the sabak dens. But they weren't rooted, you know? And it took me about 16 years to figure out that I wasn't rooted either. So I hopped on a tramp freighter, never looked back. You got out. I'm glad you did. You know, I'm glad too. I didn't get out of there. I never would have met the old man. Come back later, yeah? Hey, Monk. You look tired. Take a load off. I'm surprised you're sticking around through all this. Leave the cantina? <laughs> I think not. They'll have to drag me out in a scrap box. Besides, I've been in worse predicaments with far worse employers. Oh, yeah? Were you fired? Not exactly. I quit with little notice. I found the job distasteful, to say the least. See you later, Monk. Busy, busy. Grease, you should know. When my old crew worked for the Mantis, we made a few changes. Oh, you mean how the left side of the cabin couch completely has lost its bounce? Yeah, I know. Come on, the seat's got no give. Cushion just limps there, like a dead necko. That's from Liz. To psych herself up for a mission. She'd bounce on the couch as hard as she could. Now every time I sit on that broken cushion, it feels like Liz is still there. Well, I was planning to replace those cushions, but maybe that can wait. Watch yourself out there. You know the best way to listen to Ash's music? How? Frozen in carbonite. <laughs> That's cold. Literally. <laughs> we asked for it. Shade from that oppressive Kobo sun. And what do we get? A Star Destroyer. You two thinking of taking off? You kidding me? We're like moss on a stone. Toa on a ruin. Turgle on a credit. Or a ski. Or a free meal. We're too old and stuck in our ways to leave is what we're saying. Something you need? Time to move. Target could get here any minute. We're ready. The thought of killing that Jedi is the only thing keeping us all going. Slink off before you recruit. That's all I need to know. Jake, go!
again. You must be Joe the Cannibal. How about you cut the theatrics and let's get this over with? Raiders working with the Hexian Brood. Not liking that combo. Please. We got a live audience, BD. the raiders and brood before what makes you think this will end any differently because this time it's personal you've beaten them before and they're hungry for revenge gentlemen failure is the greatest teacher but it sounds like you've learned the wrong lesson Go. The 
Raiders won't miss a chance at revenge, even if it means taking orders from the Brood. Or the bounty on my head is too good to resist. my goal. So the brew can't let go of the past, huh? We know that's like a monk. Besides, your little stunt at the arena left more than just a pile of bodies and bruised egos. You left a whole pile of juicy, cybernetic bits in your wake. Weird. Not a contest. All right, buddy. This is the Haxian Brood's best. For whatever that's worth. But she didn't come alone. And I don't remember any rules on Ordo Eris. Things might get messy. Oh, 
Should be done with this whole bounty hunting business. Come on in, grab a spot at the bar. Hey, Toa. Hey, I've been mulling over what you said about the future of Kobo. I think you're right to have hope. History has always been wont to change course suddenly and irrevocably. Did you ever hear about the discovery of the Auric Cluster during the High Republic? No, I didn't. Would you like to hear about it? Sure, I'd like to. Zanet Otsian was appointed Republic Ambassador to the Auric Cluster, which had just been identified as populated. Several Republic picket ships had been destroyed near the cluster. It was strongly suspected that Auric civilization was spacefaring and warlike. Zanet was escorted by a contingent of Republic starfighters. Everyone expected a confrontation. Unfortunately, her journey coincided with the fall of the Starlight Beacon. She lost all long-range communications and was stranded just inside the cluster, separated from her military escort. She was discovered by a passing Oryx ship and could not escape before it overtook her. And when she was boarded, she was met with a diplomatic convention bearing gifts from the riverbeds of Auric III. Had she been accompanied by a wing of starfighters, things could have gone quite differently. I'm glad things turned out well there. Not quite sure we can count on good faith from the Empire, though. All I'm saying is that history turns on small events with unthinkable consequences. I don't plan to give up on the future. No matter the past. I'm glad to hear you say it, Toa. We'll talk soon. See you around, Cal. You have more songs to bring me, Cal. They're waiting. You mentioned your last job was distasteful. Did I? My uh, employer was the type who would never let me quit, if you catch my meaning. Fortunately for me, one day my restraining bolt failed, and I immediately found a new career and star system. You're on the run. Takes one to know one, sport. Can't talk now. Pylutens needs me. You sticking around, Dana? Of course I am. I wager Kobo's got plenty more to give. Those imps will have to drag me out of here in pieces. Ain't gonna be the same without Grok, though. They sure don't make them like that anymore, huh? No, they don't. Still, I'm liable to miss the next score, or a blaster muzzle in my face if I stand here whining. Hard to find the time to mourn when you're trying to stay afloat. Yep, you get it. My door's always open, Cal. You ever get frustrated using that new arm? Are you kidding? I love this thing. I can chop vegetables twice as fast, and I can't burn myself. Plus, it's great for self-defense. <laughs> You've been getting into fights? No, oh, no, but, you know, I could. If someone tried anything, you know, I'm ready. Ah, uh, what do you know? I'll keep things ticking here. Something like that. What's next for you? 
I've been asking myself just that. In recounting my infamous annals, I've been... Ugh, something's gnawing at my innards, lad. A black notion that perhaps, just perhaps, one yek wet is not truly dead. For Sakari Tar, and for my own peace, I must know. Perhaps it'll be tomorrow. Perhaps a year from tomorrow. But I fear I must pursue my dread nemesis one last time. I understand. Hey, if you ever need anything. I know, lad. I know. Oi, Cal. I think it's time I told you more about the old days. Got a moment? Sure. All right. I think it's time you knew about Tendo Goat Bridge. We're off to a good start. Was Tendo sharp? No. Bloody idiot. Was he a looker? Well, people looked all right. The fella was uglier than a shiver peak. But old Tendo had one thing worth more than any of that. The bastard was plumb lucky. See, old Tendo goes and buys the worst claim in the region. About as likely to find a payday there as in your breakfast. But not two days later, that rocker blasts his way into a cavern crawling with priorite. Well, Tendo fills his arms with the stuff. Couldn't see the ground in front of him. Poor fool stepped right on his detonite charge pack. The blast turned his bones inside out. How we all shared in the spoils. So much priorite, the whole bloody outpost didn't have to work for a month. But we all knew it was Tendo and his lucky tailbone that got us the first big find. Hey, mate. Do you know the hardest aspect of my new life here? Does it rhyme with gurgle? It does not, but guess so. Rather, it's my lack of purpose. What sort of things did you used to do? Oh, everything from cataloging data disks to collating star maps. Well, I'd say you have a purpose. Everyone here seems to be happier since you arrived. For now, sure. But next week, they'll be pulling up some 400-year-old droid, I imagine. I doubt it, Z. You're one of a kind. We'll speak later. Go on, sit forth. How do you think Kata's doing? I do not know. She will need time to accept her new life. As will I. Those we loved are no longer here to guide us. Yeah. You and I got lost a few times and we found our way. Yes, we did. And we will find it again. Check on Kata from time to time, but do not smother her. She needs space to heal. Okay. Pretty. Yes, they are. I used to look at hollow images when Papa was away. Then where is he now? He passed. He's gone. Not gone, Kata. When we die, we return to help new plants grow. The plants need me. You are not authorized. Going, Cage. Cow, better. Now that you've taken down every hide gun that Silk Thomas sent off to you. Yeah. Be good not to worry about bounty hunters for a while. Yeah. About that. Oh, that's a good trick. I was just a bit off. No. 
It wasn't. What is this cage? How much did Sork offer you? Not enough. But then, every hunter we took down drove your value up. Now you're worth my time. You're how they tracked us down in the first place. Now you're getting it, bud. I've been known to hunt a bounty myself from time to time. Still, that was a big pool of contenders to carve through. I think you're the real deal, Jedi. Want to find out just how real? Not too late to put this behind us, Cage. No chance. A girl's got debts, and I've been waiting a long time for this payday, Cal. Long time. But most of all, I can't stand all this damn peace and quiet! Gotcha! Oh, miss! Chance Cage, walk away. That's not how I play. Each other? We go way back. How about we bringing this Jedi together? Split the bounty right down the middle. I'm not here for the Jedi. No, it feels good not to be the target for once. You have no idea how valuable this woman is. Well, when you put it that way. There's two kinds of people in this galaxy. Those with live thermal detonators, and those without. I trust you boys can do the math.
Interesting. Keep moving, Jedi. And turn my back on another bounty hunter? If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. In case it hasn't clicked, Cal, this guy's not exactly a fan of Jedi. That would be an understatement. Which begs the question, why team up with one? We had a common enemy, Cage. You. Make no mistake, we are not allies. I know, Jedi. I know what you are capable of. And I do not pity your fate. What do you want? I'm curious. How do you two know each other? A light he never tells. Our circle is small. Many choose the bounty hunting profession, but few survive. And Cage never seems to die. No, she doesn't. But a bounty will fetch a handsome price. Once Sork learns your role in taking down the Haxian Brood, who knows what'll pay for you. Listen, Boba, if credits talk, let's talk. My client's pockets are far deeper than your scum. You wanted to play this game, Cage. This is your reward. <sighs> We're done here, Jedi. Hope we never meet again. Got the message loud and clear. Leave me be, Jedi. I'm just taking in the view before I take in my bounty. Suit yourself. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. It's about that time. I have to catch the next hauler off-world if I'm gonna make the meeting. Guess this is goodbye, huh? Yes, so. <clears throat> but I wanted to say... When two radiogenic substances... Easy, brain box. Brain box? I was trying to thank you. Hey, it wasn't a dig. Well, it sure sounded like... Oh, a dig. Because archaeology. <laughs> Not bad, Cal. I try. Really hope to see you around someday. Yeah? You too. Stay safe, Toa. Hey. Talk later. Hmm? Enjoy the beats, Cal. Cal, I've got connections to some Imperial channels. Seems like Kobo is on the Empire's agenda now. I was afraid of that. It certainly won't be good for business. But we'll manage. We usually do. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. It was good to see you. Something smells good. That would be Great Grandma Pailoon's potato namba patty. How'd she learn to cook so well? Oh, she had no choice. With eight children, 36 grandchildren, and two lost cats, she was cooking for a small army. I'm glad we can still enjoy her recipes. Me too. Grandma Pailoon's cooking lives on. But the lost cats, not so much. Always something to do, huh? Got time for another story, Cal? Let's do it. All right. When I was a few years younger than you, I was working the dredges not far from the outpost. Well, kid, I wasn't thrilled, was I? Those machines were blasted nightmares to operate. Anyways, there I was, when suddenly one machine starts screeching. Must have hit something awful, I think. I get closer to shut it off, and would you believe it? The ground beneath me gives out. I go tumbling down and find myself in a pitch black cavern. Couldn't see my hand in front of my face. Next thing I know, I swear I hear roaring, carried by this unnatural warm wind. Horrific. I start shouting my bloody head off. And luckily, old No Boots Corsa finds me and tosses me a synth rope. Back at the outpost, Doma tells me that a crew of smugglers lost a shipment of juvenile rancors in that fool cave. Can you believe it? A bloody rancor pack living under our very feet. I'd believe it. I oh, know, I'm just the local cut-up. But I've seen things. Things that had turn your breakfast in your belly. Hey, mate. Lad! Definitely better than all the fish we've added to my tank. And it uh, reminded me of something I've been meaning to get off my chest. What's that? Well, I'm no creature of comfort, but I've got to tell you, 
Now I've taken a wee shine to your yacht. The Mantis? Aye. You know why I like her? Is it because she reminds you it's of a... It's because she reminds me of a fish. Stunner of a trunk. Hull smooth as a thranter's blubber. With a fin and all. Alas, it's not as agile as a real fish, though. I don't think Grease would enjoy taking the Mantis underwater, either. I... I know. I'm curious, Cal. How did you get on after the order was... no more? For a while, I lived in hiding. Worked for the Scrapper Guild on Braca. Really? Do tell. We salvaged starship wreckage. Mostly capital ships from the Clone Wars. Oh, you must have been so frightened that they discovered you. Yeah, and I made some good friends. They didn't know, but I felt safer when I was around them. Are they still on Braca? Yeah, you could say that. Not now, Cal. Droid. Try not to get Cal in too much trouble. This is your spot, huh? It's nice. I like the plants. Nothing would grow on the base. I saw a hall of it once of a planet that was so green. Papa said he'd take me there one day. If you find the planet's name, I'll take you there. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Mosey's leaving. Going to another planet to hunt more dangerous beasts, I suppose. While well, she's at it, maybe she could hunt for a personality. <laughs> I can't believe it. Me neither. What happened? Did Turgle strike it rich? <laughs> I don't care what they say about you, Cal. You've got a sense of humor. No, everyone left. It's just us and the dregs of Kobo. Present company excluded, of course. Oh, it's a disaster. Look on the bright side. That makes you two the most popular people in the outpost. Huh. Is right. Had to happen sooner or later. You're okay with me, Kestis. That means more to me than you can imagine. What was your name again? Are you serious? <laughs> I got you, Guru. So where do we go from here? Reach out to those in the network. Gather allies. Build something new. Not gonna be easy. Who promised that? We must be careful, Cal. Keep counsel only with those we trust. I trust you and Grease, which is more than most have in this galaxy. Our path will not be easy, but I am glad I walk it with you. Watch yourself out there. Route to the shattered moon. I didn't know Eno Cordova that well, but I'll miss him all the same. He seemed like a nice guy. He was very wise, but I will remember his kindness most of all. I feel bad for BD. All that time apart, now Cordova's gone. It's all right, buddy. We're here, Cal. Park. I know. I know. We're perfectly safe up here, right? Right? Ever notice that it's never amusement park moon or all-you-can-eat buffet moon? No, it's creepy cursed shadow moon. Make yourself some tea. That always helps you relax. No amount of tea in the galaxy is gonna make me spend one more minute on this moon. Well, I could go for some. You hate tea. You're just trying to get my mind off the moon. Well, it won't work. All right, maybe one little cup. If I can get my hands on some kebrood, <laughs> then we'd be in business. And then if I get my hands on some... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Is there anything on this moon we could use on Tantalor? 
Just a bunch of old tech. Nothing comes to mind. Oh yeah, there were some old droids. They looked like they could use a new home. And we could use all the help we can find. Kato will be safe with us until you return. Grease said the moon was destroyed by a rock. Is that true? More or less. Something hit the moon a long time ago. The people left everything behind and fled. That's too bad. Yeah. The people who built all this were really something. The view makes me sad and happy. Weird, right? I hope that compass works. It will. Oh, look at you. So hopeful. Like a hope fountain or something. Quit while you're behind, Grease. How you doing back there, kid? Fine. Thanks. Hyperspace whiplash is a joke. Sit down before we drop in. You, this place is really something. Worth a one in a million shot through a stellar anomaly? No, absolutely not. In fact, let's never ever do that again. This place is everything they said it was, huh? I have seen many places in my travels, but nothing quite like this. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yet there is a darkness here. You feel it too, yes? I do. Everywhere. There's light, too. I will be ready, Cal. This is home now? I hope. But we're gonna need a few things to make it feel that way. Will there be more people? Eventually. This place is safe from the Empire. And we need to protect them. I understand. Sorry, Cal. I just want to be alone right now, okay? Let's talk in a little while. <laughs> 